We're doing our first discharge test of this uh, 5S Fiat battery. The nominal is 18.5 volts. Fully charged this thing up to about 4.15 and started a discharge test. Already at 60 amp hours. It's going to terminate at 3.0 per cell. I'm hoping maybe we can catch that on video. So, I mean, we're already past 1.1 kilowatt hours. These things are holding exactly their advertised spec. I mean, these things are pretty much, you know, rated exactly what the spec sheet is. We've already hit that capacity. So, I think we're doing pretty good. The internal resistance is amazing. These are high drain, very high drain cells. Pulling about 8 amps on discharge, 4 amps per channel. Got a lot more headroom, but I need to rework the setup so I can push some more power. 125 watts of discharge. It's been running for about seven and a half hours. Wasn't particularly in a rush, but this is the first discharge test with this charger as well, so. Just wanted to kind of check it out, see what it works. It's got an SD card in the back as well. It's got that little icon in the bottom right is for. So I think it's going to dump the logs into there. I'm not really quite sure. Oop. Cell 3, 3.0. Guessing it should terminate soon. Oh, there we go. Amperage is ramping down. So at the top, when I charged this thing, it was, I mean, the balance delta was like, I don't know, under 10 millivolts at best. I mean, maybe it was even closer to one or two after I charged it and balanced it, balance charged at the top. So even all the way at the bottom, 60 amp hours later, we're only 277 millivolt difference from the highest cell to the lowest cell. I'd say that's pretty solid. I think these batteries are uh, pretty much new. At least that's what it first test kind of indicates. There's still has the full capacity. And uh, I've got a few more of these. i got to test it by basically... This thing has a function called regenerative discharge. And essentially what that is, is couple, means a couple different things. You can either move the power from one battery to another or dissipate heat as we're doing now so basically what we did was just filled up the battery or filled up a glass of water and just dumped it out kind of wasteful if we do regenerative we can push it from one battery to another battery using these two different channels and uh, you can go at much higher rates you know 30 40 amps so once i get that done i'll be able to test these things a little faster and this thing's uh, fans ramped down. It's 60.4 amp hours. And I actually started and test started and stopped this test a few times before I uh, just let it run. So I mean, it was actually almost one more amp hour more than that. So it really kind of should be a little closer to 61 amp hours total capacity on this 5s Fiat battery. So. More testing to do. It's quite a bit of work. Uh, I did want to make one last mention. We increased the supply voltage. Uh, the fresh battery was like 49 volts. And I think we had at least 200 amp hours of the 6S versions of these cells to uh, basically supply power to this charger. Doing pretty good. So, okay. See you guys later.